A lot of clients have major pushback. They might be highly motivated, but once they're in the trenches, there's a lot of pushback. They don't want to go through the process. The process is a lot of hard work. Tell me what goes on here a little bit. Well, right now there's no cooking, obviously, okay. but usually I move clutter away. I'll add to the pile over here. I'll move things over here. So in our work together, I would really like to pare down some of the things you have and clear the space so that we can really bring your home back to order for yourself. Yes, the dining room table is under here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how long has this been like this for about? Uh, it started two years ago, and then things just kind of, life got in the way and things life kept piling up. All right. So let's talk game plan. We're going to tackle the kitchen first. And we're going to focus primarily on changing behaviors, particularly trying to let go of those things that you're not really using on a regular basis or don't need as many of. The second thing we're going to do, everything is going to have a home. I like to use the term completing the purchase, which means when we bring something home, it's not good enough just to have it in a bag on the floor. It means actually taking it out of the bag and actually finding a place for it. And the last thing we're going to work on, which is probably the one that's going to be the most important, is creating just a sense of freedom by letting go. Cleansing you, cleansing the house, and it's just going to create this wonderful, warm, serene environment for you to achieve your goals. Are you ready to get started? That emotional attachment you might have to some of your possessions, okay. all right? I want you to ask yourself every time you pick something up, every time you have that impulse, that urge, that need to save something, mm -hmm. how is keeping this going to further that goal of getting this kitchen the way I really want it to be? Yeah. How long have these things been sitting here about? Uh, a couple of days. Right. And tell me why it's hard for you to get them into a garbage. Uh, well, I was saving the yogurt containers right. and I was kind of mm -hmm. holding on to the pretzels in case, you know, we had a snack issue. Okay. We can show no judgment. We can show no shame. If you go in there and you start either holding things or throwing things away without their permission, it's only going to get worse. Okay, so let's talk yogurt. How did it get to be so many? Uh, my son, uh, with his special needs, has a sensory issue, and he loves smooth food, and he loves yogurt. And I use them when I make soup and stew and, okay. and stuff, and I'll give them to friends and family. Okay. Um, so it's just kind of habit. Where clutter really comes from is when we bring more things into the house, and we're not letting anything else go. Right. What do you think would be a rational and accurate amount for you to have about I would say eight to 10. So we have to set that parameter and say, all right, 10 yogurt cups, that's my ceiling. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about rational and accurate amounts. It's all the little things that become a lot. Yeah. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe in. <laughs> I'm here. Mm -hmm. Think Joshua. Think Joshua. Think Joshua. Okay. All right. So you Am I to pick? You pick the pretty ones. Okay. That, that would be what I would do. I, pick the I, pretty. I do like the pretty ones, but I'm going to take one of every right. size first. Okay. All right. Okay, one, one more. pretty. Come on. All, All right. Orange. It was my dad's favorite color. <laughs> oh, I like that. So why don't you give these to me, and I'm going to put them back, and you throw these in the donate pile, and then okay. we're going to move on to the next area. Ooh. Okay. You're going to breathe. Mm -hmm. I know that wasn't easy. No. All it's right. It's kind of silly over spatulas. No, it's but. not. It's <laughs> not silly. Don't ever say that. Okay. It's not about the stuff. It's about changing the way you think about your stuff. Okay? No one should ever make you feel silly about the things that you love and you want to keep. You get to pick. Remember, you're in control. Okay. One, so you two, pick three, the ones four, you want. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's an expression you clear the mind, you clear the clutter. So for Corinne, by clearing her mind of some of those behaviors that she's really, really holding on to, she'll be able to clear her environment as well. And that's what I hope for her. I hope that she'll clear her mind so that she'll clear that clutter every day. So we're going to tackle the dining room table now. And yes. as you can notice, I've covered everything. <laughs> I see the table is now in mourning. Yes. All right. I like that. No, seriously, the reason why I covered it is to look at this table with all of it on it at once can be very overwhelming. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll back very slowly the tablecloth, little bits at a time, and we're only going to work on those items that are visual to you. 
How do you feel about the magazine? Bye bye. Great, and I'm seeing garbage too. Garbage. So let's do that. Bye bye. Um, not empty. This is cookie cutters. I want to put them in the keep. That's okay. 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 Let's put them in the keep pile. All right. Can we focus on this tin for a minute? I would like to keep it. You do use this. I do use them. But let me ask you a question. You use it, but it's been sitting here on this table, right? Since Christmas. Since Christmas. Yeah. How come? Because uh, it didn't have a home. It didn't and have a home. I didn't want to throw it away. Okay. Uh, Remember, we're trying to edit you. Right. As much as we can. And this, this takes up room for something that's only once a year. Yeah, let's donate it. All right. Look All at right. you. <laughs> Look at you go. Right. Okay. Let it okay. go. Say goodbye. Right. Bye. You good? Yeah. Okay. okay. Breathe. Cleansing yeah. breath. I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay. He'll be okay? He'll be fine. That was big. Um, some food. Uh, let's check the date. They're old. They've been sitting there for way too long. Good. This I might use for something. Maybe. No. No? We, we have a lot. Okay. We have a lot. All right. Good. Use any 